We're at the American Banking Center for RealmsCon 2012. Uh, I'm Sky Captain Sutter, Greyhawk Wicker, Captain Airship Isabella. Um, we are a steampunk production company. We go around the country, do conventions, telling people about steampunk, selling our wares, showing off our, our costuming and gear and that kind of thing. And uh, when we're not on the road, we uh, have a shop in New Orleans, Louisiana, and we build props for the movie and TV industry as well. A um, little bit about steampunk. Steampunk is neo-Victorian science fiction. It's what was sci-fi to the, the Victorians in that time period started out as a, uh, a genre for writers and it's just kind of exploded into all forms of main media uh, from movies to TVs to video games to anime. Uh, now, how many uh, conventions have you done? Uh, within this last year we are up to 24 at this point. And uh, I heard you're based in the museum? Yes sir. You can find us online at airshipisabella.com. We're on all of the popular uh, social medias, Facebook, Twitter, all of those. You can find us there as well. Okay, well, my hat is an heirloom, and let me show you the inside there. You can see the JP there on okay, the hold inside. On. It's one of my ancestors, I don't know which. One of them is a Pfaffenberger, and the other one is a Polk, and I don't know which one is which. But this is let me made get out it of aside. silk. It's made out of silk and instead of uh, beaver fur, so it's from after the 18. 40s, probably the 1850s or so, and uh, the thing I like about it is one, it's comfortable to wear. They made these where you can wear them all day, and two, it fits. The guy came over in like 18 and 17 or 18 when he was like 12 or 13, and then he started his own company when he was about 30, mm -hmm. and he was originally in beaver skin hats, and then he switched over to cloth. Now Harold's is in Austin.
And we got uh, Noel G here. And uh, how you doing? What's uh, cracking? How you guys doing? We're right here at the Realmscom at Corpus Christi. Doing it big. Doing it live. Probably going to kind of white out a little bit. Hey, can you explain to us the fusion process again? Fusion art. Um, it's one little experiment. Um, basically, it's natural media, um, watercolors, watercolor pencils, liquid textings, sometimes food coloring, anything that's everything but the kitchen sink. And then I blend it with digital media, and when I'm doing it, it's almost like a two step process. Um, basically trying to keep my handprint behind the fingerprint of the artist but still add in some digital media into the mix and make it really fresh and interesting you know uh do you got a website uh yes <laughs> da, 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 da. okay which is uh yeah, it's radiantzero.deviantart.com okay nice that's me yeah i like some of this uh artwork yeah is it kind of like steampunk or is that right Oh, pretty it's a version of steampunk, but it's a little bit prettier and more put together. 